The whole job of rivers is to tear down mountains and fill up valleys. And that's exactly what the South Est, the North Esk and, the, and the, to a lesser extent the Tamer are, are doing at the moment. So that's, that's the number one thing. Number two, it is an estuary. It is not a typical river which flows towards the sea and um, takes all the deposits from further up the valley and deposits them out um, close to the, or, or, or beyond the coast. It's a tidal river with a very strong tidal um, flow and that behaves in a totally different manner to what you would expect in other rivers. And for some reason, because of its position, that tidal flow is, is much greater even than the other rivers that flow into Bass Strait. It's not just the South Esk that's bringing sediment into the river. Um, and it hasn't been all the way through the, the, um, the sort of evolution of the river. It's a very narrow valley from Launceston to the coast, I think about five kilometres wide. On either side, um, a mount, you've got mountain range and you've got these short streams which flow down from the sides and, and flow into the river. And they have brought a lot of sediment themselves from those ranges and even from further inland there and probably the, the range beyond into the river itself. And where these flow into the river, you're getting these quite large deltas obviously being formed or having been formed. And so it, it's, it's not only the river being filled up by what the South Esk River brings in from the south, it's being filled out with, up with what these smaller creeks have and are still bringing in from the east and the west. There was one situation I, I, I mentioned in my slideshow about where the Marine Board tried to um, cut off one of the bends of the river by slicing straight through the end of it and making a straight from sort of the beginning of one curve to the end of it. And they dredged it and they dredged it and every time they dredged it, it filled back in again. And um, from that I think there's a lesson to be learned that what appears to be a fairly simple answer to an easy problem um, isn't. And that what you do to one bit of the river has an effect on the whole lot because you've got this water sort of slopping up and down the river all the time. So what you do at one end can affect the other. And um, if you try to control it, it's all the time wanting to go back to the way it used to be. Be very careful what you do because whatever you do is going to affect the whole valley.